today's video, we find out if my $1,000 TCG investment was not completely terrible. Maybe? Hopefully? One year and about nine months ago, I invested $1,000 into TCG Player Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I had dreams of grandeur. I thought one day this $1,000 will turn into $10,000, $100,000, a million. But that has not been the case. The first year, not only did we not make money, we didn't even break even. We lost money. And so in year two, I decided I'm putting another $1,000 into Yu-Gi-Oh cards because that's what you do with investment. You just keep putting money in, right? Well, it's been better this year. It has been better, or at least it was on the last check-in. And we're about to find out if that continued because the first year we lost a couple hundred bucks. It was not good. And it's been getting worse and worse every time I've checked. Now we're going to see if it's gotten better. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a $50 TCG player gift card. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what you want to see me invest in in 2024 and what our best and worst investments are from this year. So as you can see, we have our year one spreadsheet and uh, we had lost $164 uh, at the end of last year. Last time we checked in, we had lost about 339. So I should have sold these a long time ago. It's just gotten worse and worse and worse. The first check in, we had made money. Then we had lost a little bit. Then we lost even more. Then we had lost way more. So keep this in mind. And when you're thinking about investing in uh, in cards, whether or not, I mean, you might choose better ones than I did, but it's been pretty rough. So let's get on with the checking. We've got Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. You guys have seen these cards before. Let's get to them. All right. So we have a first ad lightly played. I, we've explained a million times, but it was not supposed to be lightly played. We invested in it. It's 567. It's been about the same for a long time. So it's actually a little bit lower. Uh, we lost, uh, we've lost $20 total since it first started. So that's pretty rough and 78% of our value. So it's been pretty bad. We even went down since last time. Let's check on the unlimited. The unlimited, uh, I don't expect too much. Let's just click that off. It is near mint, but I'm not, yeah, 354. So, uh, hey, look, look at that. We, <laughs> since last time we've gained 19 cents. Not bad, not bad. Overall, we've lost uh, about 55% of our money. Not great. Let's go to Silent Swordsman level five. This is one, uh, another one that should have been near mint, but I should have known buying Flaming Eternity. I was, there was no way I was getting a near mint card buying on TCG player. It doesn't matter where you buy these from. They're almost impossible to get near mint. So 30. 3594. I mean, there's only one listed at that, so it might be go up to 40 soon, but 3594. It's gone damn, and it was 40 last time, so not looking too good there. For a number 17 Leviathan Dragon. Oh, this thing has been an absolute home run. Every time we check on it, we have made massive money. And I'm sure when they reprint this thing, just like they did with the Astral, it's gonna do great. Oh my gosh, it's even worse. How is it even worse? <laughs> It's 3385. Oh, this was the absolute worst investment. Oh my goodness. I paid $110 for this car. Literally, I've lost 70% of my money. Oh, guys, please, please don't invest in new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. When I first started this, they were not reprinting everything all the time. But at this point with the 25th anniversary Starlights and everything, there is no chance anything is holding up from the new stuff. So I would not buy those expecting those to go up in a very, 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 very long time because we've almost hit two years. And guess what happens after two years? You lose 70%, 59%, 55, 78. Good investment? No. All right, Lightning Storm, uh, which does it? This doesn't have a 25th anniversary yet, does it? Somehow. So when this gets a uh, 25th anniversary, I'm gonna be even more angry. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is disgusting. It did it not get a 25th anniversary? Because that's what it feels like right there. Maybe this card's just not usable anymore. $123. My goodness. We are getting annihilated on this. $298.41. It's 123. We've lost $175 on this card. So if you're buying new cards, and you're not playing with them. You just need to sell them. That's just how it goes. If you start collecting these things, what's going to happen? This, this is what's going to happen. So be ready for it. If you pay 300 for a lightning storm, just sell it right away. Do not hold on to it. You'll lose 59% of your money. This is going to be the worst episode yet. Solemn Warning Unlimited. Okay, this this one's probably fine. I mean, it probably hasn't gone down that much, I would say. I think I paid like 70 for this. Uh, Near Mint Unlimited. 4173. It's still down somehow. I mean, uh, to be fair, all cards are down, so that there's that to consider, but we're still down 28 bucks on that card. It's an unlimited one, so it's not crazy. Evil Hero Dusty Gold. Yeah, this this one was is a crapshoot. It was a really this was a bad choice. Did they have the legendary duelist seasons yet or whatever? 
Because if I had known about those, those absolutely destroy value out of Legendary Duelist. So the, I don't recommend investing in anything Legendary Duelist. It's pretty rough. I mean, I've lost 90% of my money. On a $12.99 purchase, it's $1.46 now. And that's going to happen every time you do Legendary Duelist. Because if you buy the original, they're just going to reprint it. And they reprinted it in secret rare. Like, the same rarity. So it's the exact same card. Actually, I say that. I don't think it was a secret rare. But they do reprint it immediately. So, or like a year later. So it's going to get crushed. Stratos Ulti has been one of our best, like, of all time. And I, it's probably going to be one of our best investments. Just because elemental heroes and stuff. It is down. But look at this. Look at that recovery. We've come back a little bit recently. you love to see it. 123.68. So it's down. But it is not ridiculously down okay so we're down about 26 bucks 18 percent. i mean that's like that just looks like a normal investment like okay 18 percent is a lot still for but compared to everything else it's not too bad we got a flare metal dragon come on flare metal i mean you're at least a ghost rare i mean maybe i don't think it's had a reprint or anything okay near mint first edition we have 90 dollars. that's definitely lower i think yeah, I paid 140. Oh my gosh, even that's down. All right, now the deck. This is actually the deck has been the most consistent because nobody sells these. So that helps that there's just no sales data. Oh, someone. Oh, Limitless. I think they did. I think this was on here last time. Why Limitless? 92, 94. No, they've lowered it. Oh, this is so sad. Look at this. 45% of our money gone. $551. We're down another 110 in the last three months. This is only the first thing. We haven't even gotten a year. One. I mean, actually, it's probably worse because it's year one. We haven't gotten a year two yet. Oh. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, time to run through year two. Last time we had lost, and we had actually made money last time. So let's see if that keeps up. Uh, I'm not feeling too good after the last one. Sky Striker. We have a 45 cent card. We bought three of these. So it is $1.35 for all three. Wow, we are getting destroyed on these. Okay, Dark Arm Dragon Ghost Rare up next. 36 cents. 98. Okay, we're down another 15% on that one. Colossal Fighter Ulti. This is what I saw. House of Champs shared this on his Twitter the other day, or X, or whatever you want to call it these days. And it has gone way up. I think we paid, okay, we paid 88. So I think that we're actually going to be okay on this one. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. Oh, thank you, Edison Format. Shout out to E3 and all the Edison people out there. You guys are really saving my investment here. 116.68. Also, best format out there. Let's not, let's not lie to ourselves. Go format, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, that, that, was a, that was a game changer. I'll have Justice Cataster. That's another one that's Edison stuff. I don't know if it's going to be that good. All right, Near Mint, we're looking at $94.99. That's not bad. $94.99. I should have just done an Edison investment and I would have been fine. I would have been killing it right now. Ash Blossom, we have six of these. I think these are down last I saw. Okay, 10 of the Pharaoh Gods. We have 735 times six. Okay, 44.1. So we lost 26%. Not great. I mean, it's not the worst ever, but it's actually up a little bit from last time. So that could be the trend if Ash doesn't get another reprint soon. This is a really pretty card. So maybe it could make its way back to that 60 we paid for him. Pot of Desire's ulti. Okay, I don't think this one's done anything recently, but could have missed it. Yeah, it hasn't. Look at that downgrade on the way by. 41.49. Ouch. That's not good at all, guys. Losing 25% on that one. Traptic Trap Hole. We did sell these. Yeah, 292.26. So that's locked in. Glad I sold those because that was a 68% increase when I sold them uh, all together. So very solid. All right. Toon Black Cluster Soldier. I don't I haven't really checked on this one, but I'm not feeling that crazy. It's just these new cards just are really destroying me. I we next year we are not touching new cards, okay? Remind me that next year, okay? 649. Even though this year it was not my choice, and you guys actually did better than me in this. Uh, the Twitch chat did it on when we were live, and it's been much better than when I did it. Instant Fusion. This is one. This was a meme, man. I didn't want to. I didn't want to invest in this one. They made me, and it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. We're losing so much on this one. Okay, Spanish 7175. That's way less than what we paid. 121 dollars. We're getting destroyed on that one. Night Beam, our favorite card. Night Beam. I think we bought 10 of these. This one was doing good until the reprint recently. 1267. I think is still up, but there are 10 of these. 1267. Yeah, that's just times 10 is, is easy, but I like to have it in there. Okay. Up 19%. They get a speed dual reprint. So that could have, I think that did lower the price a little bit because last time it was at 130. Eh, not too much, just a little bit. Baxia Ultimate Rare. All right. 29.95. Wait. Okay. We only lost a little bit on this one. It's basically the same price, essentially. There's like, I mean, 55 cent difference is not really a difference. Uh, Yazi now. Okay. That's pretty good. Can we go back to back with decent ones? Not destroying us. $20.95 feels low. 
It's not that much lower though. It's only $2.94. Okay, Rescue Rabbit Secret Rare. The original print of Rescue Rabbit did have a CR since then, I think. So, well, maybe not since then, but we went for the, oh, this is not looking good on that preview. $17.99. Okay, it's not, it's not bad, bad, but it's not good. It's kind of how all these are. Rising Energy. So last time we were making a little bit, this time we're kind of just giving it all back. We're not making a ton. Rising Energy, we had a few. I remember we had one like returned and stuff. 732, still up there. Two of these. Okay, we're definitely down. Definitely down a decent a bit on those. Fiber Jar, well, we have to put zero on that one because, uh, you know, you guys know what happened with the Fiber Jar. Obviously, we uh, returned that one. Anything on the service actually looks pretty good, surprisingly. This is not real! Droll and Lockbird rare. Last time this one was actually balling out. Let's see if it is. Just the regular rare from Tactical Map. Oh, look at this! Oh, this is our big hit, 475. That's our big hit for this one. We bought, we should have bought 23 of these instead of that stupid Gate Guardian. 475 times three. We made back 12, we make 900%. We paid, we paid nothing for these wow we paid a dollar 40 for three of them yeah they were like 40 cents at the time because they were basically commons in that set so they were everywhere for a time now they're up to how much per card 475 almost a 1000 percent increase that's the one to get excited about i mean we only made 13 dollars off of it so we really needed to buy like hundreds of those for it to be worth it but still that's pretty amazing penny stonks right there all right time for our anti penny stonks we have the gate guardian this was this was the chat's fault i definitely would not have bought this not that i'm like a genius at this obviously i kind of suck but i definitely would not have bought this it, we paid like five dollars a piece on these they're 80 cents minimum we lost 82 2 percent of our money that's so bad okay the battle fader i've actually this one was way up last time because it got bought out or something and i posted it. i couldn't sell it so and it's also lightly played i i realized so i tried to sell it for the gain we didn't actually get to sell it so let's see if i lost all that potential right there i mean i posted it for the lowest price and it just wasn't selling it was based on a buyout so okay 69 dollars is still higher than what we paid so 69 dollars unlimited i mean if i sell it it's going to be at lightly played so it's going to be like 46 but that's still up if somebody wants to buy my battle fader and be, you know, help me out in the video, hit me up. I got an ultimate rare. And finally, we have 14 unlimited petite moths. Let's see what they're doing. Petite moth, if these, look, I honestly just want to do a buy out of these just for like a meme, but then also it would help our, uh, help our spreadsheet a little bit, you know, look a little better. Okay, metal raiders, 25 cents. That's way lower. Come on. How is the moth getting disrespected like this? Okay, we lost another 60% of our money there. Ouch. All right, so overall, we made 5%. That's not bad. I mean, honestly, we locked in some of it with the Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, but thanks to stuff like the Battle Fader still being up, we did really well in the Droll and Lockbirds. I mean, they're not making a huge difference. Uh, we did pretty well with the, what is this, Night Beam? Night Beam's still balling out. Yeah, then we got a couple here with the, uh, the two Edison cards are really carrying us. So honestly, there's a few cards that I'm really happy we invested in. There's a bunch that I'm not, I'm not happy. I didn't have a choice on any of them, so good job, chat. And also terrible job on some of them. But I'm honestly surprised we have not actually lost money. I mean, if we sold them, we'd have all the costs and stuff, so we'd end up losing a little bit. But this is honestly surprising that it's holding up this well compared to 2022, which was an absolute nightmare you guys just saw. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dean, American Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moose Jr. Barding, Robert F. and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.